name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing one of my favorite recipes for luscious layer bars. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're gonna need a package of cookie mix. Now I'm using oatmeal chocolate chip. This recipe is so versatile. Let me show you what else you can use. If you prefer to use a sugar cookie mix or double chocolate chunk, peanut butter, Either one of those will work. If you wanna make your own homemade cookie dough, that is fine too. You're also going to need some coconut. Now, I know a lot of people don't care for coconut. You can leave it out of this recipe and it's still totally fine. You're gonna need some chopped pecans, chocolate chips, butterscotch chips. Again, change out the chips if you don't care for them. If you'd rather have a white chocolate chip or peanut butter chocolate chip, Definitely go for it. You're going to need an egg, sweetened condensed milk, and a half a cup of unsalted butter. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to prepare my cookie base. So I've got my egg in the bowl, and my egg is at room temperature, and I'm just gonna drop in my cookie mix. Now, I have made a recipe on our channel called Seven Layer Bar, very similar to this cookie bar that I'm making today, but it has a graham cracker crust. So I'll make sure to link that recipe in the description box. So I've got my cookie mix in there, and now I'm going to add my butter. My butter is softened and at room temperature. And you're just gonna give it a good stir. All right, so I've got my cookie mix all combined and now I have a nine by 13 pan and I've lined it with parchment paper. I would definitely recommend using a pan lined with parchment paper or some nonstick foil, something like that because the sweet and condensed milk really makes um, the bar stick to the pan. So all I'm doing right now is putting my cookie dough in the pan and I'm just gonna pat it out. And if you've ever worked with parchment paper before, you know it can kind of be a little bit hard to get it to stick to the pan. Now you could use butter or cooking spray or something like that to make it stay. But my quick and easy trick for lining a pan with parchment paper is just to use some clips on the side of the pan and that will keep the parchment paper in place while you're, while you're working with the product. Okay, I've got my cookie dough all spread out. If it's not perfectly even, that's okay. As that cookie dough bakes, it's gonna spread out for you. Don't forget to take your clips off if you're using clips. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, I've got the crust out of the oven. I ended up baking it for about 23 minutes. And now I'm just sprinkling the butterscotch chips right over the top, right on top. And next, my chocolate chips. My coconut. And if I haven't mentioned it already, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. And then my pecans. And then next, you're just gonna drizzle that sweetened condensed milk all over. And I did stir mine a little bit with the knife to try to loosen it up just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this back into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until that top is nice and golden brown. So here are the bars. I let them cool completely. I ended up baking mine for about 30 minutes and these are absolutely delicious. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have not joined our YouTube family, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.